here soon, they promised. They're not gonna make it in time. Where are those lights coming from? Hello? This is the police. Is anyone home? He's in the house. I'm trapped. It was probably just a prank call, Ted, insisted Lee. The door was open, and the phone was off the hook. Pretty elaborate prank. Ted lifted up the phone to his ear, then set it back on its hook. The kitchen was extremely clean. A candle flickered in the middle of the dining table, illuminating a set of plates, silverware, and wine glasses, and casted Lee and Ted's shadows across the room. Wax was starting to work its way onto the small glass table. Looks like someone's trying to make up for forgetting an anniversary, said Lee as he was now holding on to one of the glasses. Shut up, Lee, Ted snapped. I'm just saying, I've had to do the same thing. My wife didn't take the bait. Slept on the couch for a week, Lee admitted. Just then, Ted lifted up his hand, signaling Lee to keep quiet. What is it? Lee asked, putting down the wine glass, his eyes now wide with a mix of fear and vigilance. I thought I heard something. Did you hear that? Ted asked. The candle began to flicker impatiently. He's in the house. I have to warn them. Did he get them too? I don't want to wait to find out. I'll be next. I ran down the hallway, resisting the urge to look back. She told me to hide. There's nothing I could have done. Her glass eyes were piercing me from behind. I can't look back. I'll be too weak. I reached my bedroom and burst toward the window. He was coming. He heard my footsteps and was coming up the stairs. I jumped out the window. It was a long way down, but it was my only hope. I was falling, but I kept falling and falling. It felt like I would never land. It should have been me. Why hadn't it been me? I trade places in a heartbeat. 